Hello, and welcome to your 46th SQL Server tutorial. My name is Johnny DeLuca, and tonight I want to talk to you about how to perform a simple aggregation. Um, in the next few tutorials, I'm going to be covering uh, advanced T-SQL topics such as aggregating, windowing, and grouping. And so, to start off, we're going to perform aggregations is what we're going to tackle first. The most common aggregation that is performed is summation, which adds all the values of a given data set. The summation of data is supported through T-SQL's sum function as you see right here. The all keyword will apply the aggregation to every value in the result, while distinct will aggregate only the unique value. The all keyword is used by default, therefore you do not need to specify it as part of the query. The supplied expression must be a numeric data type that can be a constant, a variable, a column, or a function. Now, let's go ahead and perform a simple aggregation. Okay, so get rid of this. Let's grab this block of code here, copy that. Go back over here, paste that guy in. Go ahead and type this into your query editor window. Go ahead and execute. Now let's pull up the result set and check it out. Okay. Now, this query presents the total due for all purchase orders that have been placed. Now, if we add three new aggregations to the query that average the total due and count the number of employees in two different ways, we can do that with the following block of code. Let's go grab that. Again, this is going to add three new aggregations to the query that average the total due and count the number of employees in two different ways. Copy this. Paste this guy in. Execute and review results. Okay, now, this query adds three new columns to the result set. Remember that all of the aggregations in the previous query or that, that we see right here are at the same level of granularity. Okay, so we have average total due uses the AVG average function to calculate the average over the entire result set. It sums the total due, counts the number of rows, divides the two values, and then returns the average. Then we have number of Excuse me. I believe, believe, believe. Number of employees uses that count function to every employee in the result, including duplicate values of the supplied column employee ID. All right. And then finally, distinct number of employees uses the count function, but includes the distinct keyword to ensure that duplicates are ignored. You may have noticed that the syntax for each function used in the preceding query is very similar. This is the case for most of the aggregation functions. There are a few slight variations, but the syntax is standard. Okay, I believe, yeah, that's going to do it for this tutorial. In my next tutorial, I'll be covering performing aggregations with groupings. Hope you enjoyed learning about how to perform a simple aggregation and I'll see you in the next tutorial.